Hey, it's Friday. Let me yak at for you for just a few seconds. Let me turn this off. So I'm just now checking out. It's Friday the 28th of February. We actually get a leap year day tomorrow to 29th. I have a good friend who is a leap year baby. So we, we actually get to celebrate his actual birthday tomorrow. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to just uh, flow. I was just uh watching um, Grimes' new video. I like to keep up with what's going on, people. I do. And um, Grimes um, just sounds uh, like pop music to me. Nothing nothing groundbreaking really there at all. The thing I notice about her and some of the other young artists is how the big companies are presenting them like kind of like aliens or alien hybrids. And... Um, I don't think I'm noticing some sort of agenda behind that. Someone who I know nothing about, but went ahead and checked him out because he was murdered recently, was a young um, hip hop artist named Pop Smoke. Um, I had not have heard of him, although I do try to check out what's happening with the young people in all, all genres. So I checked him out and my thought after watching a couple of videos is this, well, when this is the focus of your art, how is it not going to possibly bite you in the ass? You know, that's what I, I thought, you know. Uh, somebody was jealous or something, something, okay? Another person who passed, a lot of people just die and die and die and, and people want me to talk about all of them, but I can't if, if there's nothing for me to say. Okay, so um, the cat from um, Mazzy Star and Opal died. He was 61, younger than me. What's his name? Roback? David or Daniel Roback? David Roback. Uh, just died. He was also in the Rain Parade. People are going on and on and about the Rain Parade. I never raided the Rain Parade. I still don't. I re-checked them to make sure. Um, and I just thought they were kind of ersatz to me. You know, they're supposed to be this psychedelic thing. Mm -mm. It was uh, second rate to me. Opal and Mazzy, Mazzy Star are the real deal. This is kind of qu quiet. S s s I call it somber uh, unhappy lovers music, you know, which is why I don't listen to it too much. You know, a lot of these records where people are just going on and on about broken relationships, I just, because I've had such a bad experience with being in relationships, I'm not interested in going on and on about it. I've decided a long time ago, just keep to myself. I don't like the drama. I don't like um, how, you know, it's a 50-50 chance that the person you hook up with is just going to try to play with play with your your feelings once they get in this happens over and over again people get close and then they destroy each other i'm not interested in that i know it doesn't always happen but uh it hasn't happened to me yet you know the woman i met that felt like my soulmate i couldn't handle it it was too much i wasn't ready you know that's 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 why it broke off those are, those are some thoughts i wanted to just kind of share related to music that came up um, regarding D David Roback's passing. Um, just to just vibe on whatever's on my mind. Uh, again, I'm gonna keep this short so I can remind you that Stupid Morning Bullshit is on again every day, but every Friday they run the Old Music Friday segment of mine. So that'll be on today at four central, five Eastern, three Mountain Time, and I think it's 2 o'clock on the West Coast, something like that. Okay, um, recently I just pulled some stuff, and I pulled this. I hadn't played it in a long time. This is by Pizzicato 5 from Japan. They were this band. I don't know if they're still going, where they did this mock-up of the 60s. Um, mod Gogo sort of sound really well. They sing in Japanese, so I don't know what it's about, thankfully, because I don't, I, I probably don't need to know. They might be talking about the size of the heels on her shoes or something. I don't know. 
but the arrangements on here great I will make a list I will try to remember to do that for you folks who have a hard time understanding what I'm saying played this recently dome dome 3 this was a pro side project from the guys from wire Gil Bruce Gilbert Bruce Gilbert and Graham Lewis along with Eric Radcliffe and Russell Mills is on here this is really kind of wacky. There's some vocals on here that are off-putting because they're just doing exactly what they feel like doing. So it's 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 kind of wild. The music and the sound work on here is fantastic. That's why I love Dome. Dome 3. Is there anything else down here? I play stuff and put it away. Well, I tried to listen to this the other day and it just didn't, it wasn't the right time. Piero Umiliani um, made a lot of library and music and film music. And this is one that I picked up. Suspense Electronica. Um, I just had a chance to get this when it got reissued. And um, it is. It's kind of edgy. So it's not a real comfortable uh, listen. I think this would be something that, again, either mood-wise... I'll have a good experience listening to it, or else it's just something that I have in the library, you know. Not really for uh, um, entertaining listening, okay. Someone was playing this and, and showed it online, Dole, The Speed of Hope. One of those post-punk bands, I think they're from Belgium, where they were really getting into a cool sound that was Pulse Joy Division, New Order, in that area. Put this on and um, even though it's dated, I, I still like this a lot. It still sounds great. I like stuff like this. I think I put most, well, no. I, I can enthuse about this. This is really good. The words have some kind of meaning, but it's like I'm just not taking the time to try to get it out. But I can tell that there's meaning in those words. Susie and the Banshees, Peep Show. Susie is my queen. I love her. I love this band. I just had the opportunity to turn um, this young couple on to them who are friends of mine. Um, I really enjoy um, young, smart people. And um, uh, they had never heard of Susie and the Banshees. And I just happened to have a video going when they stopped by. And they were riveted because Susie is a badass one of my favorites. I just, I just love her. I, lo I loved her presence. I loved her voice. A lot of the songs are about, well, if they're about something, they're, that's not the point. It's the, the rhythm, budgies, drumming, the way that um, Steve Severin, the way they put everything together. And when I saw them live, she was majestic. The, just the stars lined up. She and the band just blew everyone away that I saw that day <laughs> at Lollapalooza. And it was a hell of a day. I mean, I had seen uh, Nine Inch Nails, Rollins Band, Ice T. Who else, you know? You can hardly remember them because she was so fantastic. Yeah, I love Susie. Day of Phoenix, the neighbor's son. I guess this is fairly collectible. Are they from Sweden? This is pop. Um, but it's called Prague. People consider it, there's Prague things, but it's like, this album is like so good. It's like, my goodness, man, I swear if I could get this on the radio, it'd be a hit right now. The Neighbor's Son, this is really good. Really, really well done. Pop music, this is from the 70s. Uh, produced by Tony Reeves. I think Tony Reeves was... Um, in Greenslade, possibly Coliseum. Um, don't know why I pulled this. I've had this for years, but I've just pulled it because I forget what it sounds like. And then I put it on and I like, oh, shit, this is really good. Okay. Under 10 minutes. That means that it will only take maybe an hour and a half to two hours for this little bitty video to load up. Hmm, isn't that something? Love is the law. 